What is up guys and hi and welcome back to the show me films today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own craft bucket 1.6.2 Minecraft server. This is totally like it. I'm not kidding um, So anyways, let's get started the first links that you will be needing are oh sorry about that um, Are uh, these two links they will be in the description So go ahead and click them up right now if you like to you can pause the video or anything like that But just go ahead and uh, go uh, go do uh, these two pages now um, so First off, you want to go to Craft Bucket Bucket. This page is where you, where they have all their development builds downloaded available. So, uh, what you want to do is that you want to click this thing right here, Development Build 1.6.2 RO.1, 14.5 megabyte. Or if it's updated, if you know if there's any other version when you're, you know, up, just make sure you download the latest one because that's probably the best one. And after that, wait that for loading, or you know, let that load, uh, download, and. Uh, yeah, I guess it depends on what internet speed you have. I have, well, let's see here. I have about, um, like, 100 MP, uh, yeah, I have 144.4 uh, Mbps. So, anyways, um, next off, what you want to do is go to your desktop, simply make a new folder called uh, 1.6.2. Bucket server. You could call it anything you want. It's not really like you know important, but just call it, give it a name so you you know recognize it. I guess that's the most important thing. So next off, what you want to do is simply create a simple text document. You don't have to give it any name. I'll, you know it could be just anything. Does, doesn't matter. Just go ahead and open it up. Go back to your browser and go back to this site, setting up a server. Um, so what you want to do is you, when you come to the site, you want to scroll down a bit. And this is for Windows. If you're using Linux or Mac, go ahead and do, use those examples. There's actually a tutorial down here, but uh, I'm going to be showing you guys for Windows. Uh, anyways, so go ahead and copy this text right here. Start from the J and down to the end of the capital E at PALS, just like that. Not not like this or like this. Just make sure you go like this. It should look something like this. Just go ahead and do Control C to copy the text. Go back into the um, uh, you know, text document that we recently made. Simply paste that into there with Control V. And the thing is that if you have this thing left, uh, which is O true, it will force the server to have online mode on true. So if you want your server to be cracked or you know not have online mode on like true, you know like false. If you haven't bought Minecraft yet, or you know people that haven't bought your friends or stuff like that, you know just go ahead and delete that part. After that, do File Save As. Now, there's one really important thing here, guys, okay? You want to make sure that you're saving as a type all files, okay? Next off, you want to type start.bat. See, the thing before .bat isn't really important, so you can really have any name here, but it has to have a .bat in the end of it. It's very important, okay, because it has to become a batch file. So now, really what you want to do is, do, I'm just going to call it start.bat because that's easier, you know, you can read it, obviously. And uh, you want to make sure it's browsed into your um, server folder. Click Save, and uh, you can close this down. After that, the file, uh, if you, you know, it's, if it's not still downloading, the Craft Bucket 1.6.2 file should be done. Simply drag it into the Minecraft server or Bucket server for 1.6.2, as we're doing right now. And then it should have a really weird long name. What you can do is that you can actually close down your uh, browser. But I'm not going to do that, but uh, yeah, so. Because uh, you don't need it anymore, but uh, or you need it, but not not like for this process. What, whatever. <laughs> so um, after that, what you want to do is that you want to delete all the text except for the dot jar. Okay, nothing. Don't delete the dot jar part. Only the thing before. If you have it like me, like this. So um, go ahead and delete all the text before craft bucket. So just name it craft bucket dot jar. That's all it needs to be. Well, if it if it doesn't say dot bat like, like jar like this, uh, all you can do is go to um, Organize here in the corner. I'm using Windows 7, so you know if it's different on Windows 8, I don't know how to do it. But anyways, go to Folder and Search Options. Go to View, and then simply go to Hide Extension uh, Extensions for Known File Types. Just click that, click Apply, and then uh, if, it, if it looks like this for you, you know it's totally fine. Just rename it Craft Bucket, just like that. But uh, if you have this disabled, like me. Uh, it does say dot jar and, and everything like dot bat all the like things but I'm actually going to disable that just to make it because pro most of you guys probably don't have that but um, anyways after that simply you can delete this text document that we you know had the text in because we, we won't be needing that uh, anymore and you can empty your trash can if you like to because you know save some space uh, after that simply go ahead and run the server once now the thing is that you um a bucket server requires this one program. It's called GRE7. I'll leave a link for it in the description of the video. 
I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download it. It's very simple. You can Google it. It's like you know, first hit. It's really simple to download. Go to Google or click the link in the description, as I said. And uh, uh, wait, let me just give me a sec here. Um, God, it's taking more than the time usual. Okay, wait. Anyways, so when the server is done, as you see, it's actually preparing the spawn area right now. So you know, it's gonna load a while. So uh, I thought we could do this by while we're waiting. Uh, okay, this is taking too much time. You know, let me just re reload my or restart my uh, Google Chrome. And I recommend that you use Google Chrome for this because it's so much easier, and I, I, I seriously recommend it. So, anyways, now when your um, server, uh, you know, command prompt thingy, like actual console, has been done loading, when it says done down here on the info, um, it should say, uh, or it should have generated uh, these files here, like whitelist server, server.log, .ic, like, you know, bucket craft, but like plugins, world, all these, all the, and all those files. Um, band players ops. So the first thing you, you probably want to do is just add your in-game Minecraft name right here in the ops folder at the top. Nothing else. If you want to add anyone else, just do enter and type their name here. Uh, for example, my friend Missio. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, just do that. Do file save and you can close it down. Because I mean, obviously you probably want to be op on your own server to you know build on it and stuff like that. But anyways, next up what we're gonna do is go into the server properties. So really, this is really easy, guys. Okay, all you need is some patience and time to do this. That's all you really need. Sorry, I'm just gonna do that. So, on the server properties, we have generated settings. You know, you can leave this default just like that. It doesn't have to be changed. Hello Nether, obviously, if you want the Nether to be a load or um, not. Uh, level name, world, keep this as false because uh, some plugins require it to have the name world or what not work sometimes. It's, you know, so just keep it like that for um, generic reasons. And uh, enable query, leave that as false if you like to. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, a little flight. Uh, false, true. Uh, this will uh, disable the most of like flying programs for people that are not op. Like for example, if they're using any hack clients or anything, like Notice, you probably know about that. Uh, I'm gonna set this to true actually because I like flying around on my server. Um, so, so the port server port. If you have port forwarded on another port, just set put that to this or whatever. If you port forward, like for example, two five five four four, like me, you know, you can set it to that. Um, so level type. So you're gonna have to port forward for this, uh, guys, or it will not work. Just saying. Uh, or other people won't be able to like join. So to like uh, make other people be able to join, you're gonna have to, yeah, port forward. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's pretty easy though. So you know, just Google it, anything, you know, your router, how to port forward on it. It's pretty easy actually if you know it. Um, anyways, enable Archon, leave that as false. Level Seed, leave that as, uh, you know, if you like a seed, you could always do that. But uh, Force Game Mode, this, just leave this as false, so this could actually crash the server if you have too many errors of the game mode thingy, if you're using any, you know, uh, plugins or anything, so just leave, leave that as false. And uh, the server IP, you know, leave this as blank, okay? People think that they're supposed to put their IP here or IPv4 addresses. No, that's not true. Leave this blank. Anyways, max build height is uh, 256 uh, as default. I recommend you leave this as default too, cause uh, you know the the server could have problems with different plugins and you know conflict, like I said before. And spawn NPCs. If you want like villagers to spawn, you know set this as true. If you do not want them to spawn, set it to false. If you want the whitelist, uh, now the whitelist is a, if you don't know what whitelist is, it's pretty much a. Um, if you know what a blacklist is, it's pretty much the opposite. Uh, it's a list where only. Uh, those people that are listed in the list are able to join the server. So, for example, in this file here, which is a text document, you can open that up, and here you can put all the names that are allowed to join the server. So, anyone that doesn't have their name in here will not be able to join the server. Very simple. Next off, we have uh, spawn animals. Obviously, if you want like regular, not hostile mobs, but you know, regular mobs, is like pigs, uh, wolves, uh, you know, sheep, and stuff like that, cows to be, and chickens, you know, be able to spawn. Set this to true. If you do not want those specific, uh, specific uh, mobs to spawn, set this to false. Super enabled, uh, leave this as true. Hardcore, false, obviously, if you want your server to be on hardcore. Texture pack, uh, I won't be showing you guys this. I'll probably do another video on how to install a texture pack for your server. Uh, it's pretty simple, actually, but uh, I'm going to be showing you guys that another time. Anyways, so, online mode, um, true, uh, as I said before, if you want pay players that are non-premium accounts, that which means that uh, people that have not bought Minecraft to be able to join the server, make sure you have this on true. I, I recommend you have a whitelist then, too, because, you know, otherwise anyone could join in your... But um, the thing is that if you set this to false, unless you're not having a plugin like, you know, uh, off me or anything, uh, you know, they they could actually log in as you in grief. And, I mean, you're, I recommend you put this to true so only, you know, premium guys can join. Uh, or, like, you know, real, real, like, people that, that's bought Minecraft. Anyways, PvP, obviously, true or false. Uh, difficulty, um, zero is peaceful, one is easy, and two is normal, and I think, yeah, and uh, uh, three 
is hard. So yeah, but game mode zero, obviously if you don't know what that is, zero is survival, one is creative, and uh, two is uh, adventure mode. So yeah, but max players, obviously the max amount of players that will be able to join, I'll set this to one since I'm only going to join. Um, and spawn monsters, um, true, you know, obviously. Uh, I don't know if I set whitelist to false, no I didn't, okay, I'm going to enable this just to show you guys how it works. Um, so spawn monsters, obviously, how to spawn, if you want the uh, hostile mobs to spawn. Now, this is a cool feature that you can play on like normal or easy or hard at the same time as no hostile mobs will spawn, which is pretty cool. So I'm actually going to set this to true to uh, show you guys how it works. So I'm going to set uh, to uh, normal. And uh, generate structures if you want dungeons, uh, strongholds, and villages, like, you know, more than that, you know, stuff like that. Uh, auto generated, like, you know, structures uh, to be generated. Uh, set this to true. If you do not want them to be generated, you know, set it to false. Also, uh, I forgot about level type. If you want your world to be flat, like super flat, like on single player, simply type flat in capital, like, uh, caps here. Very simple. Uh, but I'm going to leave it as uh, default because, uh, you know, I, I want a default world. Anyways, so, uh, Next off, viewer distance, you know, just leave this as it is, it's not important to change really, it's nothing really important. Uh, now, MOTD, message of the day. Now, you can actually change anything here, and uh, there'll be an annotation here, or annotation, for you guys um, who are wondering how you get custom colored bold and weird text, you know, to, or weird, uh, cool text to your uh, message of the day inside your server. Um, I will. I have made a video on that, how to do that, so you know, just go ahead and click that right here, it will be annotation for you guys to watch that. So pause this and go ahead and watch that if you want to do that. Or you can just type something simple like, uh, uh, hey, or something, I don't know. After that, go ahead and save this. I'm using Notepad++, there will uh, be a Probably, if I, I'm not sure if I'm going to forget uh, to put a link in that in the description, but hopefully, um, if I do, you know, go click it. Anyways, uh, if I don't, you know, just Google it, it's really easy to get, so yeah. But, um, anyways, next off, after saving yet, you can close it down. Now we have our server up, you probably want to reload it after saving your properties file, or um, your, uh, you know, it won't be saved. Uh, anyways, so now you have got your official 1.6.2 bucket server, guys. And if you get any errors, like, you know, could not, you know, GRE, like, Java, like, you know, errors, th it could be that you do not have GRE7 installed. I'm going to be showing you guys how to install that right now. Uh, Google search. Okay, so, just go ahead and Google it. There will be a link, in, like, in the description for it. Don't worry about it. Like, it's going to be a description, uh, link in the description. So, uh, then you will, it will take you to this site. And uh, this is really where you download it. It's very simple. Uh, it'll probably ask you first uh, to accept the license and agreement because you have to do that or else you won't be able to download it. Simply scroll down and make sure you download the right version for your right operating uh, system and, you know, computer. For example, I'm using Windows 64-bit, which means I should be using this one. And for 32-bit uh, version uh, users for Windows, uh, I recommend you go uh, download the Windows x86 offline one. Uh, download the online one if you like to. I mean, it's not really necessary, but I, I recommend you download the offline one because this one is actually better um, in many ways. So, anyways, go ahead and download that. You'll get a small like G like GRE, you know, like setup file. Go ahead and open that, install the program, and then you should be able to run your um, bucket server or click this thing in, in, oh, in, uh, and not getting any errors. I'm going to be showing you guys one more thing. It's called RAM. Really, what it is is that you can set your custom amount of RAM to your server, and this is this thing right here. Um, see, let's say I want my server to be running on 2 gigs of RAM. See, um, if you don't know how much RAM you have on your computer, all, all you really, uh, really do is go to um, Start, Computer, and right-click that, and simply go down to Properties. After that, it uh, should open this thing. It's a control panel on system security and system. This is the path if you want to get it, you know, yeah, like that. And uh, as you see, I have 4 gigabytes of RAM, and 3.87 is usable. Um, so, for example, uh, 1 gigabyte is actually, in my previous video, I was totally wrong. I said that 1,000 uh, megabytes were one uh, was a 1 gigabyte. That was totally wrong. Sorry, I mixed that up totally. Or something else, I don't know, but one gigabyte is actually 1,024 megabyte. So, for example, uh, like two gigabytes of RAM for the server would be 2,048 or megabytes, like that. I'm going to be running on 2,048 because I think that I prefer it. So, go ahead and save it, or it will not be saved. And also, you might want to close down your server and restart it unless you're already running it. Um, or aren't already running it. So, when it is open, uh, as you see, uh, the server is running on 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's 1.6.2, survival, all that stuff. So, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. And to prove to you guys that this is actually working, I am going to log into the server myself. 
So, uh, you will be have to, as I said, port forward uh, to make your friends to be able to join. But, uh, you know, if you're just playing alone or just playing with a local network, like on your router with your friends or, I don't know, like a uh, brother or a sister, I don't know, you, know, you name it, um, you, you could actually um, uh, make your friend or, you know, brother or sister or anything uh, to use your IPv4 address. And if you don't know what your IPF4, uh, IPv4 address is, it's your local IP to your kind of network. Um, now, I guess that only works if you have a router. If you're using, like, you know, one of these, like, you know, uh, I don't know what to call it in English, but... Um, it's like, uh, it's pretty much more like a, a uh, I don't know, it's more like a broadband thing. It's not really like a router. But, uh, you know, you can play inside to the, like, side of the computer and, you know, you have a pin code to, like... Anyways, as you see, I am on Minecraft 1.6.2. I will be going to multiplayer. And boom! There you go, guys. There you have your server. One, zero out of one players joined. I can join, and probably, hopefully, I'm whitelisted. Um, <laughs> don't know if I forgot to whitelist myself now. I might have to whitelist... Oh, may oh, okay, I am whitelisted, cool. Um, so, uh, as you see, guys, totally working. It's totally 100% like it. I am not kidding. This is... Oh, wow, Jungle Temple. Cool, what's the seed of this? Okay, here's the seed, guys. If you like, you know, awesome seed. Uh, with the spawn next to a Jungle Temple. Pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, but uh, if you guys did think this was pretty cool, uh, or it helped you out, uh, you know, why not leave a like? And uh, if you have any questions or anything, leave it to the comments below. And uh, as always, become a showman for free today by subscribing to my channel. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. So, peace out, and have an awesome day. See you guys later.